Hi, today we're going to be taking you through Connect as an educator. First things first, let's talk about the platform. What is Connect? Connect is our learning management system at TAFE Queensland. It's an instance of Brightspace developed by a company called D2L, Desire to Learn. Connect is a platform which combines many powerful tools for learning together in one environment. It gives us a way to combine content, assessments, communication and much more and deliver it on demand for our students. Connect is responsive and can be accessed through desktop, laptop, tablet or mobile phone. So where to begin? This is the landing page to navigate to all the units of competency or any PD units that you're currently enrolled in as an educator. You'll see each of them represented by a tile that features an image and the unit name. For any overflow, there's a view all courses button. If you can't see a unit that should be there, talk to the regional LMS Connect team about requesting a unit to deliver through Connect. This can be done through Contools. The top bar, or banner at the top of the screen, is called the MIDI bar, and it makes navigating Connect simple and fast. The MIDI bar is always there regardless of where you are on Connect. It just might reshuffle a bit, depending on the size of the screen that you're working on. This is to do with the responsive design aspect of the site. No matter the screen size, or where you are in the system, you can access the notifications for communication, updates and alerts, and your profile information and settings. From these tools, you can edit your profile, change your email notification settings, and log out. The nine squared icon, colloquially referred to as the waffle, represents the unit drop-down menu, and this allows you to access all your units. The units you see listed in Connect are created by your region. You can pin your most frequently accessed units to the top by clicking the pin icon. On a smaller screen, like a smartphone, this will sit underneath the menu icon as a set of three lines, often referred to as the hamburger. So, if you ever lose your waffle, you might find it under your hamburger. Underneath your units will be the global announcements, where TAFE-wide announcements are displayed. These might be alerts for Connect updates, competitions, as well as public holidays and campus closures. Further down from there, you'll see the TAFE Queensland footer, which includes some important links and information. Like the mini bar, the footer is present on every page of Connect. Let's go into one of the units, where we'll continue the tour. The nav bar is where you access unit-specific tools and resources, and we'll cover these in depth in their own standalone tutorials. But the important thing to know is that you can access all your unit tools and resources through here, as well as the Connect help. Again, the responsiveness of Connect means that the elements will adjust to better suit the user's individual screen. On a tablet, some of these navbar options might be compressed into a more menu. On a mobile device, they'll probably feature under the hamburger. This is all designed to ensure the best possible user experience. Selecting the My Unit content in the navbar will take you to the content and activities that are being assembled in sequence to make up this unit. Selecting the Home tab on the navbar will always return you to the Unit Home page, which appears under the navbar. Front and center on the Unit Home page, we have the Unit Banner, which utilizes the same image as the tile that is represented on the My Home page. Under that, you'll notice that there's an indicator of your role within a unit, whether you're a student, a facilitator, an educator, or some administration role. Next up is the announcements, which give you a place to provide a welcome message and to update students with announcements as your unit progresses. On the right, we have a few widgets, starting with the updates area, showing what's new. Below it is the teacher contact widget, which will list the teachers associated with this unit, 
along with their details, such as contact, availability, class group, and any other relevant information for the students to know. Finally, here is the calendar where you can create events and dates for your unit. Going back to the very top, there's also an option inside your profile drop-down where you can view the unit as a student. This is a quick way to preview what a student sees in your unit, and you could use this to see how something displays for students, or even see if something is available. It can be flipped on at any time, and when it's on, my unit role will indicate that you're in the unit as a student. This will also show under your profile drop-down. The X next to this will disable student view, returning to the educator view. It's important to note that the student view won't simulate absolutely every part of Connect as a student, but it will show you the tools and content as a student would see them. This can go a long way in giving you some insight into the student experience. By clicking on the logo, we can return to the Connect homepage, which we logged into at the start.